there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. I'm Dave DePensier, and this is Reno My Reno. This property is owned by brother and sister duo Brad and Lindsay Fox. Brad's actually a pretty handy guy, but his biggest mistake was misjudging the time it would take to finish everything after he gutted the place. He's been on the road for work, and Lindsay doesn't have the skills to keep the reno going, but she's sick of living with plywood floors and unfinished walls, basically in an unfinished mess. So she's called us in to help her get it done. So Lindsay and Brad, we've stripped wallpaper, stripped the drywall, floors are gone. How did we get to this point? First thing I see is plywood floors everywhere. So I'm like, somebody's done some demo here and uh, haven't turned back. We bought the house three years ago from our aunt and uncle who had it for about 30 years. Last year, uh, we had a project to start gutting that room, took down the wallpaper, took out the flooring. We had to fix uh, one of the walls because of water damage. Then it kind of stayed how it is right now. <laughs> I've been working on the road for the last couple of years, so I haven't really been around here much, but... I'm usually around three or four days a month that I can get some work done on the place. So over three years, working only three or four days a month doesn't... You don't get a whole lot accomplished, really, but... It's the best I can do at the time being, so... It looks like you kind of got a pretty decent idea as to what to do. Yeah. You just can't get it finished. Yeah. So do you, do you have any idea of how to do any of this stuff? I'm more of a helper. A helper? <laughs> yeah. Usually my help is like getting stuff and carrying things or getting supplies, bringing them to Brad, but he does the majority of the hands-on work, not me. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> so Brad, you can't find the time. Basically the time's an issue, yep. On the other hand, we use like the lake and everything to its advantage, so sometimes it's like, well, who cares what it looks like in there, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm really surprised anything actually gets done around here. Took on more than we can handle sort of thing. So you've kind of left your sister hanging. Kind of, <laughs> yes. I get it. I understand now. I'm a lot better at tearing stuff apart <laughs> than I am putting it back together. Like, uh, it's pretty quick and easy to rip out a wall, but to rebuild one is a... That's a whole different story. Well, we got to change this. Who's staying? And who's going? I'm hitting the road. I got to go back to work. You're gonna you're gonna leave your sister with this, or what? I'm heading her to work. So this is the best thing to hand her over to Dave, and maybe he can do something with her. <laughs> <laughs> it is really better that I stay because we're, we'll get some work done now, and then I could eventually use these skills later for other projects that we have in the house. Lindsay, you're gonna stay with us. We're gonna teach you how to do these things. So the next time <laughs> okay. he guts the house, he doesn't leave it for three years. And you're gonna show him how it's done. All right. Perfect. Does that sound like a plan? Sounds, Sounds great. Sounds good. Now Brad is back from work on the road, and it's time for him to check out hey. Lindsay's hard work. You can look. Whoa. <laughs> Holy, is that ever nice? Doesn't even look like the same place. Wow. Totally different. That's amazing. I can't even believe it's our house. <laughs> Looks awesome. If Brad wasn't impressed with the work that has been done, you'd know it, and I can tell that he really does like it. Look at the wall. That's great. I helped do that. <laughs> it's more than what I expected for sure. It's uh, I'm really pleased with how things turned out. I really like the stone wall behind the fireplace. That's definitely my favorite part of it. That wood stove needed stone, and he is pumped to see that. Turned out good, Ooh, excellent eh? Excellent job. Well, I think the first thing you're gonna notice is we changed your old dining room into a living room. I felt like right away, the dining room needed to be near the kitchen. This, to me, with the view, needed to be the living room. Yeah, good decision on that. With this wood stove, you absolutely needed a stone feature. So we put some ledge stone on the wall, and man, it pops. And we got rid of the old cement board and got some matching slate tile as well. That looks awesome. One of my favorite features from the old place when I first got in here was the old wood beams. So we carried that straight through and added some tongue and groove ceiling. So now it's kind of has a cottage feel along with the wood that I know you guys really liked. And as soon as I seen it, I'm like, it definitely has to carry on through. They match in with the other beams that are in the other room and it, it, uh, it looks great. We had some extra wood and I thought it would kind of suit the room was Derek built you a nice coffee table and it has a lid on it as well. So you can store stuff in it. Now the floor, it's very easy to install and I think we found someone who knows how to put it down as well. Perfect. I know how to do it. The last few days have been a lot of fun. I've learned a lot of things, and I'm really pleased with how everything turned out. 
This was a huge confidence boost for her today. She did good. So new drywall, new trim, new paint, some furnishings, voila. He finally has a room that he can come home and relax in because he works a lot. So here you go. And it's finished. You guys did a great job. You blew my socks off. I've grown as a carpenter, that's for sure. I'm able to do way more than I ever thought I would ever be able to do after these past few days. Learned a lot of things. I wish you the best of luck. Awesome. Thanks a lot. And thank you. Thank you, you so much. This lake house belongs to Melissa Webb. As a single mother of two, she's used to getting the job done all by herself. But this reno attempt has got her in way over her head. My handyman experience is nil. The picture windows have seen better days. Melissa has used caulking as a temporary fix to fill the cracks. And she's created a mess above the windows by tearing out the paneling, opening up a whole new can of worms. Ladies, what happened here? We did our best. <laughs> We uh, bit off more than we could chew. Lorraine and I have been friends for eight years. We had this great idea to replace all of the interior walls with board and batten, as opposed to the old dated paneling. What inspired you to tear this apart, though, just, just out of curiosity? We saw an easy DIY project on the internet that we felt we could handle. Well, here we go again. Internet-inspired projects. This is what we got. I would say we got about 5 to 10%. Mm -hmm into yeah. it, where we realized, <laughs> what were we thinking? When I was up on the ladder and we took that one down, Melissa was down below holding the ladder and all of this uh, rodent poop fell down and she started screaming and that's when we knew uh, <laughs> we were probably in over our heads. I almost cried. I was fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, did, I did shed a tear as I was getting the most poo out of my hair. When I bought the cottage, my favorite thing about it was the amazing view of the lake. Instead, we have a total disaster. We're on a lake. View is number one. We got bad paneling, terrible windows. I think we got some rot as well from what I can see without tearing it apart. This is project number one. I am fixing this. I think what I need to do, take you under my wings, teach you how to do this stuff properly so that the next time Lorraine decides to rip and tear, you guys will actually be able to do it. So I want you to take this little piece with you as a souvenir <laughs> of something that's never gonna happen again. We'll get a hold of you in a few days to come back and check it all out. I'm really looking forward to proving to him what I'm capable of. Go get him, Tiger. Let's get started. <laughs> You're gonna be so impressed. We're gonna be hiring you out to the neighbors. Yes. That's what we're gonna be doing. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that is amazing. That is really amazing. I had a little bit of help. Bench, look at my bench. <laughs> Yeah. That's incredible. That was your idea. That is incredible. <laughs> it is beautiful. It looks like a completely different cottage. Oh, I love the board and batten too. That's such a nice touch. I can't believe you did all of that in one weekend. Lorraine walks in and she is shocked. She cannot believe what has taken place in two days. I'm blown away. I, I knew it would be amazing. I've got a pretty healthy imagination, but this is <laughs> certainly more than I expected. I expected there to be windows and maybe the wall fixed up a bit, but the bench seat and all of the molding and the trim and the plate rail, it's really something else. I can't wait to spend my summer here. <laughs> so Lorraine, what do you think? It is unbelievable. I, I can't imagine that just doing that little bit would change the, the whole look of the cottage. It's phenomenal. She's shocked what we've done. She's gonna be even more shocked when she finds out how much work Melissa actually did. What I wanted to do was change the windows. Because of the view, the original picture of how the windows were, they had to go. And when we tore off the paneling, we ran into some big problems. We ended up gutting the entire wall, reframed it all. She helped us, she learned how to work some tools, and installed all new windows. And yours truly here did that one on her own from start to finish. I had a blast using the power tools. And I went with those windows because it allows you to see all the way through instead of doing a double hump type window where you know it blocks the view. Another thing I added was the board and batten up top. I just felt this place screamed board and batten. I see carrying uh, the board and batten through, throughout. And you talked about entertaining a lot and there was really no place for anyone to be. So we added wall to wall window seating with some storage. 
My favorite thing is by far the window seat because I think it just adds so many elements to the cottage that she can use it for dining, she can use it to sit there and read a book, the kids can play, and it just adds to the whole charm of the place. So this girl here, she worked her butt off the whole time we did, we put a lot of long hours in. Sure did. And having it all come together, it was really rewarding. It's really rewarding and empowering. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> We're at the weekend retreat of Rose Buse and Robert Johnston. Rose has called us because Robert is a DIYer in way over his head. He's not quite as handy as I thought. Master disaster. <laughs> the sunroom, which looks right out to the lake, could be a great place to pass a hot afternoon. But it's not so relaxing in its current state. With sagging ceiling tiles secured by staples, an excessive amount of spray foam, and mangled drywall, Rob's in dire need of help to right his reno wrongs. Robert, what is up with all of these staples here? Right. <laughs> Guys, you got to tell me a little bit about this space. How did we get to this point? Well, the ceiling was always falling down, so uh, being a handyman, <laughs> I grabbed a staple gun and <laughs> attempted to put it in. Apparently, the staples weren't long enough. We didn't have any duct tape. Yeah. I bought this cottage about five years ago and it was my midlife crisis, I think. It needed a lot of work. It's 40 years old and Rob's a handyman. I can see that. Yeah, so he's done some work for me. We got crazy on the insulation, I see. We got spray foam creeping out everywhere. Actually, Rose's brother put the windows in. Yeah. So I figured I'd go ahead and spray around the windows and then... Well, sprayer in you did. I did. I did a great <laughs> I'd love job. to see you shave in the morning. <laughs> so it's not supposed to look like that? It should be shaved off and cleaned up. So, Rose, it's been three and a half years, and now it's time for you to take a little holiday. And this time, when you come back, this space is going to be finished. Promise? I promise you. Yeah. Thank have, you have so fun. much. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe it. This is incredible. Wow. This is unbelievable. Oh. It's transformed it. It's a different cottage. If it wasn't on this property and I stepped into it, I wouldn't yeah. believe it was my cottage. <gasps> Everybody! Oh, this is just... Oh, my! A while, eh? Well, what do you wow. think? Wow! This is unbelievable! I love it! The look on Rose's face was priceless. I told oh. her we had mauve paint. Oh. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was a little worried. Good bluff, though, Rob. <laughs> we started out, we completely tore the place down right to the bones. Wow. It, it was important for our man Rob here to start <laughs> from scratch, wow. get everything out of the way, because he wanted to create a nice, romantic, relaxing space for you, which wow. I think, I think he's achieved. Oh, yeah. oh, my. Not only are we here to fix the mess, but I was here to help Rob get out of the doghouse. We noticed the storage was lacking for the wood, so we wow. thought we'd do a floor-to-ceiling storage for the wood. And he stopped me halfway this morning <laughs> and said, Dave, we got to add something for the kindling. Thank you. <laughs> Why don't you try reaching for the kindling? Make sure it's a good height for you. Perfect. Yeah, Dave was piling it on pretty thick. He uh, He's put me in the good books with Rose, so <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Jerry and Kathy Archer's unique slanted A-frame has been a construction zone for over five years. That's because Jerry's much better at starting projects than he is at finishing them. We have a four-hour rule. It's four hours of work, and then I'm done. But today, that's all going to change. With space at a premium in this family getaway, we're going to turn this neglected loft into not only a usable space, but a place Jerry and Kathy will want to show off. So guys, you got to tell me what happened here. Do we have to? <laughs> we need to know. I got to well, redo the space, so I kind of need to know what went wrong. What like, went it looks wrong. to me like a lot of things went off track here. Yeah, we bought the cottage about uh, 10 years ago, and it's been <clears throat> an adventure ever since. I'm an idea guy, so I sit and I look, and, and it just kind of gets 80% done and usable. And then I go, you know what? This is good. Uh, yeah, Jerry has lots of projects on the go. He's a very hard worker. <laughs> However, it would just be nice to get one thing done and then maybe move on to the next thing. Well, I think I've finished a couple of things. Wow. I just can't recall what they are now, but... <laughs>
It's a work in progress. It is. So you're like a good enough guy. It's good enough. <laughs> it's good enough. <laughs> I've never heard enough. that. Yeah, it's, it's good enough. Yes. should work. And you guys like duct tape, too, because it's everywhere. I see you got some post tape, the lights taped. And... It's a quick fix, and you said it before, it's good enough. <laughs> it's good <laughs> enough. Jerry and Kathy's loft was used as junk storage, mainly because Jerry had trouble finishing anything he started. The drywall was definitely a DIY gone wrong, and the duct tape light fixture had to be addressed. Now it's time to show Kathy that Jerry can actually finish the space. Oh my god. Holy. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kathy comes in, she's blown away. She's balling. She loves it. Way to go. And the best part about it all, it's done. She's not used to that. You want to go see some more? Yes, absolutely. All right, I'm going to meet you up there. OK. So, all right. All right. Are you ready? Stand up straight. OK. Have a look. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, it's two beds. I think oh you better gosh. count again. What? It was, uh, it was overwhelming. OK. Wow. Kathy is freaking out. She can't believe it. She's speechless. She's so excited, just as I predicted. How about the lights? I love them. They're nautical. Someone who's lying in this bed, yeah. they want to read a book. Oh, I'll just turn that up a little bit. Nice. There are plate covers on the electrical outlets. Thank is you. Is that all it was going to take? Really? <laughs> Pretty well, I'll actually. That for next time. <laughs> I knew it would look good, but I had no idea it was going to involve beds and amazing things that we need. And it's finished. Yay. Look at, do you remember those? We found these when yep. we were digging through all the old stuff. We'll have to get a game of badminton going. After the four hour work rule. You know what? I think we're changing the four hour work rule. What is it going to be? I think it's going to be till the job gets done. Oh, that's the best news I can hear all day. All right. To actually finish something feels amazing. Did you do the floor? I uh, helped a little bit. Okay, yes. very good, yeah. very good. Yeah, had some help. Wow, lots of cuts. That's gorgeous. Wow. Oh. And it's Dave. Speaking of lots of cuts and finishing and what do you beautiful think? work, it's gorgeous. Well, the big thing we did was we added three beds up here. So now you can have at least three people. There's the one in the back yeah. that joins into the second one and, and the third one. We've added storage with some antique That's crates great. that we actually found in town. Oh, my gosh. And even though we got rid of the closet, We've gained, We've added I think, way more, more storage. Usable space. Yeah. yeah. And it yeah. feels a lot bigger than what it really is. It's so open. It's just... We wanted it to feel open, but yet yeah. private. Yeah. So I think we hit that mark. You did. It was amazing. Oh. I got a 5 on that. That's <laughs> awesome. You can see it in her eyes. She's so excited. She can finally have guests come up, and they have a place to sleep. I don't think she ever imagined we'd do this with this space. I think you guys are going to spend a lot of time at your cottage now and actually enjoy it. And I also have a pretty good feeling that some of the jobs around here, I think, are going to get finished now. Every project is going to have its ups and downs. But what I learned from Dave and the crew was keep going. Rob and Karen Cowell recently purchased what they hoped would become their dream retreat. But it quickly turned into a nightmare when they discovered the former owners were heavy smokers and they couldn't get rid of the nasty odor. It was beyond anything we could have imagined. When special odor killing paint didn't work, Rob started pulling down the walls to get rid of the smell. By the time the dust settled, Rob had completely ripped the place apart without any thought of what to do next. And that's where we come in. This place is a train wreck. What happened here? Well, it started by removing one panel and then another panel and then the roof came down and then, as you can see, I just kept ripping. Uh, the condition of the cottage was in pretty rough shape. The previous owners were huge chain smokers, so it was like walking into sort of like a bar area. <laughs> the smoke was overwhelming. The smell, it, it, it just choked you right out. The plan wasn't to totally gut the place. The plan was simply to tear up the carpet, paint, try to get rid of the smoke smell. Let me get this right. You started with the carpet, it was just kind of, we're going to fix the carpet up, get some new flooring in, and you ended up with this. Yes. Completely demoed, right to the shell. That sums it up, yeah. I decided to pull some of the walls out, pull some of the tile down, and then as I got going on, because the smell was still there, so I just kept pulling and pulling, and so I got a little carried away. Kind of feel bad for him, because he's doing the right thing by getting rid of it. The problem is, he has no idea what he's getting into. We've been hard at work undoing this giant mess, and now it's time for Karen to check out the transformation. Oh my gosh. Wow. 
Okay. <laughs> this is amazing. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is beyond anything I expected. I can't believe that this is the same place we were three days ago. It looks so complete and not at all like it did when I left. <laughs> I had no expectations, but certainly <laughs> this wasn't anywhere close to what I thought I might see. I'm glad you like it. Gorgeous. Beautiful. <laughs> Karen walks in this room and boom, she looks like she's been hit with a brick wall. Wow. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> I had a little bit of help. Yeah. Well, Karen, oh. what do you think? It's unreal. I can't believe this is my place. Well, one of the big things I felt was needed in this room, since it's sunken, it's its own room, and I wanted it to have its own identity, and the dry stack stone, I really think, sells that. It's definitely the focal point. It just pulls it together. It's just, it's so beautiful. It's just so hard to believe this is the same place. There's a lot of trim work that was involved in finishing off the windows and the doorway. And one of the things we added, which we felt was a nice fit for the stone, was the four corner posts that are meant to look like timbers. Mm -hmm. And they accept the stone nicely and it really finish off these windows as well. The trim work, it's, it's, so, it's just so finished. So as you look around, you can see how much detail is involved with the angles and the sills. It took a lot of extra time, but you know, the payoff was big. It feels cozy, it feels inviting, and I can just envision sitting down there, having coffee in the morning and watching the sunset at night. It just has that, that warm feeling. Todd and his wife Marie inherited this house from his grandfather, and they have been eager to make it their own. However, a few years back, a pipe burst flooding the place and causing all kinds of water damage. Todd took it upon himself to try and fix the damage. He attempted to avoid the onslaught of mold by removing floors, walls, and doors. While he shut down the growth of mold, the demo never turned into a reno until now. It's time to reno this demo. So Todd and Marie, I'm like really confused as to what this room is. Fill me in a little bit. Well, this used to be the laundry room, but we thought we'd make it into a third bedroom. And at this point, it's a little bit of a confusion to us too. I've owned the cottage for the last six years and it's been in the family for 40 years. And slowly but surely, we've just been tinkering with it, trying to make it our own now. It's just <laughs> not happening as quick as somebody else would like. What's the deal with the window? Well, my grandparents, when they were here, they this used to be the exterior wall. Okay. And then they added two new rooms on the other side. And then we just kept the window. For some privacy for in here. <laughs> <laughs> the cottage came to us pretty rough, outdated. The projects are coming along very slowly, very slowly. And w what's with the duct tape on the wall? It's el like electrical. Electrical. The tape is so the kids don't stick their fingers in it. Well, that, that's like your safety mechanism. Yeah. Okay. It's all about safety. I see. Well, I mean, in this little space, we've got a bed. Mm hmm We got a bathroom. Mm hmm We got a hot water tank. We got an old window. Yep. We got no floor. Nope. And we got a lot of junk. I'm a little afraid to ask, but I got to go see the master. Uh, okay. So, Marie, this is the oasis. How yep. did we get to the point of no floor, no trim, and a lot of stuff everywhere again? Well, we had a flood, so we ripped up all the flooring. We didn't want any mold, so we took out all the paneling and put up drywall. It left us with a lot of work, a lot of water. There must have been at least three inches of water in the whole entire house. I did a little bit of drywall work and some minor stuff just to <laughs> make it livable, let's say. I'm done. I'm okay with it. How long has it stayed this way, Todd? <laughs> Three years. Because it's usually... A few years. It's usually the guy that <laughs> lets these things get away on us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been... At least three years. Yeah. Three years. Three years? Mm -hmm. oh, there ain't nothing happening in that room, I guarantee it. If you know what I mean. This is not where the magic happens. I clearly <laughs> can see that. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we tackled both bedrooms to make some jaw-dropping changes. <gasps> oh my god. Look at the, the floors. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at the walls. Oh my god, look at the ceiling. Marie comes in, she opens up the door, and wow, she loves it. Oh my god. <laughs> 
and the trim. Oh, oh, there's doors. <laughs> I love this. I love it. I'm just, I'm speechless. I'm in awe. It's just amazing. I'm so happy. Crazy, eh? I love this. I love the floor. The floor is perfect. Oh, yeah, I've been busy. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Well, Marie, what do you think of your new oasis? Oh, wow. She is lost for words. This room looks so awesome. I cannot believe how well it turned out. The wood, I love. I love rustic. Rustic is what I've always wanted. Well, the, the big thing I wanted for this room was I wanted a feature that when you walk in, it was like, wow. This is me. Nothing fancy schmancy. It's just beautiful. The barn board, everything's natural. You know, we have that old popcorn ceiling, so I wanted to add something that gave it some class wow. to tie in with the rustic feel. The beaming in the master bedroom is phenomenal. The beams make the room pop. And I see you love the floor. I do. And it's a nice antique looking plank. And we've set you up so that you guys can continue down the hallway oh. to finish off the rest of the cottage. Todd, I, I see a twinkle in her eye again in this room. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I am confident that this is going to bring the magic back in this room. Let's go check out some more of Todd's handiwork in the other bedroom. <laughs> that is awesome. When you want to have privacy if you're staying in here or a company comes, now it's great to open and close it. This is beautiful. The pillows. <laughs> this is perfect. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, granddad sock thingies. You got yeah. so many cool things, and I know you guys got a lot of history here. Mm -hmm. So I, I, it was important to try to catch that. I'm so excited that they used all of granddad's stuff in his memory. Like, that's important to us, and I'm so happy that it was considered. Yeah, very happy. Is that the water tank still there? Yeah. His main <clears throat> project was the hot water tank had to be covered, yeah. as well as the flooring. Mm -hmm. I love this. The floor, same floor, so it all blends. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like with all of Todd's hard work, very confident in thinking that he's going to carry on with the rest of the cottage. This property was the former bachelor pad of Ross Piaskowski. I trash it. I trashed the place. The shoddy reno Ross attempted over eight years ago may have been acceptable for him and his party pals, but not his wife, Caitlin. From the moment you walk in the house, it's a problem. Ross started tearing out walls and railings in order to open up space to allow for heat flow, making the entranceway completely unsafe. The half wall around the stairwell is unfinished, and the headroom through to the living room entrance is way too low, especially for Ross, who's six foot five. This place needs a major kickstart to make it family friendly. Ross, what has gone on here? Well, the intention was good. About uh, eight years ago or so, we put a wood stove in, and it was all blocked in. So to allow the heat upstairs, we kind of just started tearing down walls, and that's where it stopped. Eight years it's been like this? Are you kidding me? You've left this with no railing for eight years? I was going for the, the open effect. You got open all right. He tore it all apart because that's his uh, source of heat. I guess ductwork wasn't an option, so he started tearing walls out. I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. Ross bought the cottage eight years ago. Ever since then, it's become a little bit of a party house, party shack. The projects have kind of been put off to the side, and the vision of what Ross had when he first bought the house is sort of been put on the sidelines. The original plan was to, to buy the house, renovate it, and see what comes of it. Then after time, you get complacent, you try to do a few little renovations, and then next thing you know, eight years later, you have your wife telling you, you gotta fix it. <laughs> this really bothers me. I gotta yeah. be honest with you. Absolutely, we have a young child and another on the way, and it's just, it's too unsafe to bring them here at this point. Safety's a huge concern here. Like, Caitlin's denied a cottage because of that. Whoa, Ross, back out again. Let's try that again. I know what you're going to say. It's a little short. I blame the cottage on that one. Partially uh, my mom and dad as well. They're, uh, they're the reason I'm this tall. This guy is a monster. He's like 6'5", and he has to duck like six inches to even get in the room. So Caitlin, tell me about the room. Well, as you can tell, it's dark, outdated. It's not cottagey to me. Oh, you don't think paneling's cottagey? Not my idea of a cottage. Because <laughs> where, when I look, I see paneling, and then a little bit more paneling, and then some more paneling. Yeah. And I then think... we finished off with some paneling. Yeah. It's a little bit too much. 
partying in a ranch for eight years will keep the ranch looking like it did when it was built in 1972, and probably a little bit worse, actually. For a typical weeknight, there could be a range from two to 30 here, <laughs> and on the weekends, it got pretty aggressive sometimes. Yeah, in our youth, we had a great time here. We had lots of fun, but I think it's time to move on and create new memories for us and our family. We've been hard at work to make this a safe and appealing place, and I'm hoping Caitlin is blown away. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Awesome. The wall, this is great. Wow. This is beautiful. Where's the magic wand? Few days of work, eh? I am blown away. I can't believe the amount of work that went into this. It's an incredible transformation. I love that it's bright in here. I love that it's safe for the kids. I can't even take it all in. It's gorgeous. How did you manage to do all this? Late nights, <laughs> early mornings. Seeing the look on Caitlin's face makes me so happy. I can't wait to spend summertime here with her. Well, what do you think? It's incredible, thank you so much. I can't believe that you guys managed to even sleep while doing this, it's incredible. She walked in the door, she sees this place, and she is excited. Well, I'm not gonna lie, it was a lot of work. <laughs> I imagine. When we first got here, this whole area was a complete mess. One of the first things that I wanted to do was get rid of that door. It was in bad shape, and it leaked a lot of air. We got that thing out of there, and now that allows for a nice, front entrance. We put a nice new floor down. To me, the front entrance is the most important spot of the home because it's I the agree. first thing you see. Great first impression. It's incredible. The biggest thing is for this big guy <laughs> to be able to get in here. We cut that out. We actually had a little fun with him and cut a hole out for it so he could walk through and we were going to go home. <laughs> but we ended up moving it all up. I'm so happy that you can basically walk into the main area of the cottage without bumping your head. <laughs> It'll be a good thing. Yeah, I'm sure you're happy about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the door beside it, it was down low, so we moved it up to match. And I didn't want to really put a railing in here because I felt like this area of the home needed something special to look at. So we added some bookshelves, which I think are a lot of character. Absolutely. And it was important for us to kind of match the cedar beams, which I love, and I didn't want to do anything to, but you couldn't see them before. So we painted out the ceilings and added some lighting, and now it's bright and they stand out. One of my favorite features of this room is the beams and the ceiling, and I love that the white paint on the ceiling pops it out. It keeps that touch. I'm so happy that they're not painted. It's, yeah, it's perfect. And then to keep the cottage theme kind of going, since this is hopefully gonna be your cottage that you spend a lot of time at, we added some TNG on the walls and brighten it up with some fresh paint mm -hmm. and some new curtains. Yeah, I love the colors you've chosen. I absolutely love the choice of the tongue and groove on the walls. I can't wait to do the rest of the cottage in it as well. <laughs> Same paint color, It's it couldn't be more spot on and exactly what I was envisioning. Well, this guy Ross is a hard worker, I gotta tell you. He worked his butt off in here <laughs> big time and he's learned a lot so that when you guys go to redo the rest of the cottage, He's gonna know exactly what to do. Dave's really inspired me to keep going and has given me some great ideas for the rest of the cottage. I'm just blown away. I can't, I kind of feel speechless. It's just incredible. I'm most excited to be able to bring our family and friends through the front door and be proud of the space and not be worried about our nieces or nephews or our own kids falling down the stairs, but just that it's, it just got a way better feeling and vibe from the moment you walk through the door. Newlyweds David Yo and Judy Sabrin recently bought this summer retreat as a future retirement dream, but the living room dining room area is not so dreamy. The low ceiling was not part of Judy's vision for an open airy space. It was the ceilings that kind of did us in. David thought he could handle raising the ceiling on his own, but when he started ripping it down, he came across some pretty intimidating stuff. So this is the space. This is it. Tell me how we got to this point. We were looking at something for our retirement. We looked at it last fall, and uh, we purchased it and started doing some construction around the place. So how did you get some parts finished, some parts not? There's like a mishmash of stuff going on here. I'm telling you, I walked in this place. What a gong show. It was dark, it was dreary. Yeah. I wanted to lighten it up, and I thought, okay, 
David can handle some of this stuff. Let's try. It needed love, and, and David considers himself to be Dr. Love, so. Absolutely. Dave, Dave I think you hit a home run here, bud. <laughs> I just feel warm and cozy in this room. <laughs> I always look for possibilities. I don't look at things the way they are. I know they can be changed. And I saw it with this cottage, and I knew we could turn it in from a dark, dreary, low ceiling place into something that was beautiful. So yeah, we started kind of looking at things and doing a few ideas. I started out with the shiplap, but I'm kind of an IT guy. I'm not really um, you know, a carpenter house guy. Got up to the ceiling area and, and realized, well, the ceiling's a little bit too low. So that's when we started peeling off little bits here and there. So I peeled off a couple more and a couple of more. And next thing you know, I had half the ceiling down and it was getting away on me pretty fast. We kind of went, uh oh, now what? And we got a fireplace over here. That was standing here in the yep. middle of the room. So we've had it moved over, yep. um, thinking that we would center it on this and this could be like a feature wall. So this is the feature. This is, is the this feature. Is this your feature? Yeah, I could try it anyways, you know. That he's like, it's one of those things that... Oh. We got... Oh. Yeah, um, <laughs> well... Did you use glue to put that on? What did you use to put uh, that on? A little on? bit of glue, and some of them are actually... Uh, stick on. You know, stick on <laughs> with a, a bit of two-way tape on the back end of it. <sighs> Who uses two-way tape to put on stone? That stuff works awesome on wallpaper, too. <laughs> it's like uh, tying a rope. If you can't tie knots, tie lots. I'm not letting you do anything else anymore. <laughs> If you stand back and actually look at what's going on in here, it's a bit of a disaster. Well, yeah, but you know what? That's okay. The room has a great deal of potential. So here's what's gonna happen. Dave, you're gonna stay with me and the boys and we're gonna teach you how to do things properly. Well, I'd appreciate that. That'd be great. And I can promise you, when you come back in two days, you are gonna love this room. Oh, I can't wait. I have my total confidence in you and total confidence in you. Hey, this is awesome. <laughs> With a ton of hard work from David and the team, this space has been completely transformed. Well, you ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's awesome. It's beautiful. <laughs> she walks in and she's stunned. I absolutely love it. It's fantastic. I've, I, it's better than I imagined. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> and that's not, that doesn't happen very often. <laughs> I think we hit a home run. <laughs> well. Thank you. What do you think? Awesome. Hey. You guys did a fantastic job. Well, I gotta tell you, this was a major amount of work for everybody. I can imagine just by looking at the bags under his eyes, there must have been quite a few late nights here. The amount of effort that was put in is off the charts, really. The big thing for me was to get everything out of the ceiling and open it completely up. How they got rid of all that stuff. There was literally an I-beam that ran right through here that must have weighed a million pounds. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I got the bruises on my shoulder to oh. vouch for it. <laughs> we put TNG on the ceiling, and it goes really well with your shiplap looks... siding. Retrimmed everything out. <gasps> that looks wonderful. The shiplap, I love it beyond words. It's just fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. This old cabin of Gary and Lisa Allen's was frozen in time, abandoned for over 20 years when they bought it four years ago. The inside yeah. was pretty bad. There was clothes scattered everywhere. All the belongings of the previous owners were here. It took months to clean it out, and now it's taking years to renovate. Gary has been trying to chip away at projects on his own, but his massive to-do list has resulted in a living space full of lumber excessive spray foam, and exposed log walls that need attention. You see all the old logs. I love the old log cabs. There's so much history behind that. Yeah. Looks like we got something going on around the back here. That's going to be our living room, hopefully. <laughs> this is work in progress. So. I think I want to see your work. Uh, you better wear your blindfold. <laughs> I'm scared to go look inside, to be quite honest with you. Ooh. Like, I walk in, it looks like a lumber store in this place. He's got every type of pine material that's ever been made. This is a pine of palooza So how long have you been at a standstill here? Uh, we haven't done anything back here for probably 18 months or so. Yeah. 
I had a little bit of assistance on the floor and the framing and what have you, but we said enough, we have to stop. When he gets frustrated, he yeah. switches to another project, so yeah. that's why everything's... <laughs> no, you're one of them guys. Yeah. Yeah. Start one, don't finish, that's move right. on to the next yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's just lost confidence and it has just stalled. Some history here. Yeah, we have quite the story, actually. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. This was bought from an estate, so everything was left in the house. All the person's clothing, there were pots drying in the sink, and money in jars, money what? under the floorboards, yeah. just money wow. even lying on the floor. We actually paid for the property Come with on. the amount of money we found here. I got a change of plans. We're actually going to tear this place apart because I want to find some more money. I think we should get an excavator in here and just demo this place and dig holes everywhere. There's got to be more money. We've turned this former space for wood storage with cobbled framing and exposed logs into a family room with a real log cabin feel. I hope Lisa likes all the changes to the space. What do you think, honey? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> Nothing like I would have expected it. She was blown away. I think she was almost in tears. She was really, really excited, and she didn't realize it would turn out that good. The skis, dartboard for Justin, hubcaps from the back room, the bottles. This is great. It's super. It's fantastic. I didn't know what to expect at all. I had no idea what I was going to see, so I was excited and nervous and <laughs> hopeful that it was going to be nice, and it sure is. <laughs> She's an absolute awe. Lisa? What do you think of your new it's log fantastic. retreat? It's fantastic. I love it. Finally, a room that's finished. I know how much you guys love the log cabin, so I just felt it was necessary to kind of start from scratch with the logs. Put some pine on the ceiling, because we know Gary loves pine, as we've seen. <laughs> I do. I love it. It's beautiful. Love the rug, too. It's great. Dart board. Yep. Be a nice thing yeah. to put, you know. We can stand him in front of it. Yeah, at least I <laughs> want to put my head on the dart board. He made the backdrop for that out of some old barn boards that were laying oh. around the property. We felt it was necessary to keep a lot of the history of the property yeah. here. Yeah. So all the items that are around here are, like, hand-selected from your property. One thing I really love is that you've used some of the items that we found in the home. It's like a log cabin, just like it, it is, you know? Like, it's just continuation of the, the main building. The table. That's We're beautiful. so That's proud amazing. of this. That's that old work that's that we sit in here. <laughs> yeah, and I was going to throw it out. <laughs> Anthony did a stand-up job bringing that back and, and making it feel like it's a pub-style table. Those are those whole old handmade nails from yes. the barn? And that's for good luck? Well, apparently you guys have had some pretty good luck around yeah. here, so how fitting is that? That's a great idea. It's fantastic. Yeah. Gary gave it his all because he knew how important it was for you to have this room. Fantastic experience. Rami and Suzanne bought this waterfront retreat three years ago. Rami's an engineer, but when it comes to the hands-on stuff, he's no DIYer. I mean, I figured a dick is a dick. I'll just go for it. <laughs> He built this deck by trial and error, the collection of unsafe and bizarre configurations. There's an unstable step that looks more like a bench, and Suzanne actually wanted the deck to curve around the pool, but Rami had no idea how to tackle that. He says it's complicated. So they're stuck with a square deck butted up to a round pool, but we're here to give him the skills he needs to take the guesswork out of his reno projects. So before we go check out your deck, yeah. What what's going on? What is this? When you get to the end, do you just dive off the rest of the way, or what? What's your, what was your plan there? My plan is actually to take step by step to go down, but after three steps, I stopped. I couldn't figure out how to finish the rest. The stair to nowhere looked like a major accident waiting to happen. None of the steps were even. He went down about four or five steps and shut her down. <laughs> He, he's in big trouble fast there. After this, yeah. I, I have got to see this deck. It is the best supported deck in the world. OK, well, we'll see. OK. Rami is city boy. I'm not used to somebody who doesn't know how to hold a hammer, you know? Well, nice little bench here on the deck. A little short, but, you know, it works. It's not a bench. No, what is it? No, this is a step. You know, you, you take a step, what? you go from here to here. Well, be careful. It, it works perfectly. It's, you know, granted, it's wobbly. Rami, you clearly have problems with steps. He argued with me that it's stairs, and I'm like, no, it's a bench. So I figured it was called a bench. I am a little bit afraid. And, well, I would like to host the party here. And if we have guests, they are afraid too. Well, enough with the stairs and steps. What's, tell me the the vision of the world's greatest deck here. How, how'd we come up with this? 
The vi well, the vision starts with Suzanne. She said she needed a deck to go from here to the pool. I put the platform. I knew that it would be a little bit cantilever. I'm an engineer. I know cantilever will You're work. an engineer. Yes. My first thought is, I hope to God that you're not a structural engineer. What kind of engineer are you? Mechanical engineer. You know, I deal with pumps and the pipes and all that stuff, but I'm not a handyman. I know I never worked with my hand. That makes good sense well, to me now. So when I tried to test it, I almost fell in the pool. At this point, <laughs> I had to add two more supports. I ended up with sounds eight like, supports. Sounds like you had a lot of supports. Uh, absolutely, I got my wife's support. Yeah, absolutely, I support I'm you. I'm shocked that you have her support <laughs> after some of the things I've seen around here. Whatever I need, he's trying to please me. Even though I know she knows that it's completely wrong, She's just so nice, she just can't say that, you know, can't tell him that it's bad. Rami's deck was a collection of errors when we arrived with his makeshift step and all his bizarre, unsafe configurations. And the layout made no sense. Not a place to relax. We've totally overhauled this deck to create okay, a safe and appealing here. outdoor space for Rami okay. and Suzanne to enjoy. Okay, one, two, three. Wow! No way! <laughs> this is fantastic! <laughs> it's so nice and big. Yeah. Strong too. This is, I did it myself. You this did part, it? This <laughs> did. No way! It's so big, it's so strong and stable. <laughs> but it is beautiful, there's plenty of space. There are benches, there is bar. You know, I just cannot wait to host the party. She cannot believe that we went from 10 feet to like 28 feet, a beautiful set of stairs going down to the new deck. Rami's done a great job. She's so excited of what we've done here. Huh? Suzanne, yeah. oh. what'd you think? Guys, you're amazing. <laughs> so what we did was we created a much larger space. This is where you're gonna spend all your time at the cottage. So I felt like you needed a, a nice lounge area, and then we've added some bench seating along the back. So it gets rid of railings for one, adds a little bit of privacy, and Anthony and Derek did a great job. They built you a nice little table to kind of fit in. Now you've got a bar you can enjoy as well. You know, I just cannot wait to host the party. Got some bars here that you can grab a hold of when you get out with the ladder. Oh, I see. That's so and good. And we rounded this for you. Have you seen that? That was really nice. This is very nice, the rounding around the, around the pool. Rami, this was his special project right here. He did this from start to finish and did an amazing job. I am grateful to, for Dave giving me the, uh, the opportunity. It builds a confidence. Val and Shelley Townsend are no strangers to sloping floors. We lifted the cottage and leveled it all out. That created a whole pile of jobs. First thing we have to address is the wonky pocket door to the master bedroom, and then the disaster of a screened-in porch. When the home was raised, Val removed the siding from this room to replace gaps on the exterior siding, exposing framing and insulation. This could be the best room in the place, but it's gonna take a lot of work to get it there. So Val, tell me what happened here. Well, I did put this door in with a level that I got at the discount store, but uh, <laughs> It uh, didn't seem to work out good after we got it leveled. We bought the cottage about 10 years ago, and the cottage was sloped. One side was four inches lower than the other, so we lifted it and leveled it out, and that's what started all this. <laughs> so let me get this right. You decided to put the pocket door in, which was a great idea, by the way. Thank you. And it was nice and level when you first put it in. Yes. And then you figured, you know what? This cottage is pretty crooked. Let's jack it up. <laughs> That's pretty well it. So now this is what we're left with? It stays closed sometimes. The pipes broke in the bathroom. Um, doors ended up being crooked that were straight. There was a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's just chaos. <laughs> so tell me something. If you were going to build a brand new house, would you put your foundation in after you build the house? But probably not, no. <laughs> your backwards activity is what got us in this mess. You were right. <laughs> a little bit reverse and the way it should have been done, but that's the way it was done, so we're here to fix it. Another fine job. Yeah, that's how I'm working on this one. 
So what happened to the wall here? I don't, I don't understand how you got half sided and half not sided. When we leveled the house too, it exposed a lot of siding on the bottom that, that was rotten because it was actually touching the ground and had to be replaced. So I had to take it out of the porch. Because the, the porch had the same siding and that was inside the house and you can't buy that anymore. Which leaves us with an ugly porch. Well, that's my favorite room of the whole cottage. I spend a lot of time out here reading. It's just lovely here. There's not another place on earth that I like more. We were looking for a house on the water, and I was standing with a real estate agent, and Shelly was on the dock. She turned around and looked at me and smiled, and I just looked at the real estate agent, and I said, apparently we're buying it. So he said, do, do you want to go look inside? And I said, I don't think it matters. <laughs> just her smile told it all. It's like a piece of heaven here. Well, you've definitely turned it into a wonderful spot to come here and enjoy the view of the lake that I cannot see because you got it covered with poly. Like, what, what, what's up with that? Well, the screens need to be replaced as well. They have some holes in them, and that bugs are getting in, so it's a temporary thing until I uh, get to the screens. I always have about 15 or 20 jobs on the go, and I have no storage in there, so there's stuff laying all around. Very difficult to get get to the jobs in there. I'm, that's, at least that's the excuse I'm using with Shelly. The whole reason Shelly wanted this place originally is because of the view of the water. And the only spot she can enjoy that is that screened-in porch, but nothing in there goes together, nothing works, and it's mostly tore apart. We've spent the last couple days straightening this place out, and I'm hoping Shelly likes what she sees. Three, two, one. What do you think? It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow. I love it. Are you kidding? Oh my god, ever nice. <laughs> you try and picture it in your mind what's going on up there when you're not there, but this didn't come to mind. <laughs> I really love it. What do you think? I love it. When Shelly entered the room, she was excited, but I can tell she's a little bit shy to show her emotion. So one of the big features for me that I really wanted to do in this room was a cedar shingle wall. I feel like it really adds a nice cottage feel to the space now. And one of the main reasons why we came here mm -hmm. was to fix that door. door yeah. And my man Val, he did a great job <laughs> doing that because he knew how important it was for you to have that looking good when people first enter the cottage. The fixed door is great. The door actually closes now and stays closed. <laughs> <laughs> And one of your ideas, which was uh -huh. a great idea, was to add some storage. We didn't have any storage here at all. So it's nice to be able to put things away in their place. Crown molding. <laughs> well, and you got some crown molding. The new closet looks great, especially with the new crown molding across the top of it and trimmed out in cedar. So now it gives that wall a little bit of character instead of just being a wall with a closet. Oh, look at the lights. Anthony thought it was really important that we add some lights out here because there wasn't any. No, there weren't any. Those are awesome. And another thing that we added was this window. And I give him a little bit of a hard time about the window. Yes. <laughs> it really wasn't on the project list, no. but he was adamant that we got that in there for the grandkids. And I will admit that it actually looks really good <laughs> and it belongs there. I know you got some grandchildren that like to fish. So oh, we yeah. built a little fishing rod storage so that oh, they yeah. can stay off the floor and not run all over the place. <laughs> Now we spent a lot of time painting the walls and the ceilings because I know how important it was for you to brighten the space up. And now it is like really bright and I really think you can enjoy this any time of year, any time of day. Oh, oh, it'd be great just to sit out here and read and watch the birds and have my grandkids all around and it's nice and bright and cheery. And I'm sure we'll have quite a few uh, little get togethers out here and sipping some wine and relaxing. He works so hard out here. He knows how much this room means to you, how you enjoy coming out here and reading. Shelly's impressed with everything. She likes things to be finished and neat and tidy and clean and bright. It's hard to have that when, it, when everything's half complete. So I think if we go to the one project at a time idea, it's gonna be, uh, gonna be a lot better for everybody involved. Guy and Suzanne's recreational property has been a work in progress for over a decade. Like most do-it-yourself projects, it all started with the best intentions, but when procrastination set in, the unfinished bunkie turned into a storage unit. Suzanne is tired of Guy parking his ATVs in the guest house, and she wants the space to be used as it was meant to be. So I love this property. You got a beautiful cottage. The lakefront's amazing. We love it here. It's a uh, it's very uh, nice place to spend your weekends. The stress mm. just peels off us when we're coming up here. Speaking of spending weekends, I got to see the bunkie. Open this place up. I got to take a look. Okay. 
Are you sure? I want to see it. <laughs> well, there's a few things in there. Oh, my. You call this a bunkie? Yeah. It was supposed to be a nice guest house. And it's like as time went on, he would just get more and more stuff. What's this? That's a deer feeder. You're still putting stuff in there. She doesn't even know half the stuff you've got jammed in here. No, she doesn't. You know, kayaks and a boat and some fishing stuff and some hunting stuff and ATVs and Is there's even a kitchen sink in there. Yeah, literally, <laughs> there's a kitchen sink in, in yeah. there. How long has it been like this? 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> How are you still married? <laughs> that is like the most patient I have ever seen any woman ever. Yeah, pretty well everything in there is, is, um, yours. Yes, is yours. <laughs> We've cleared it out and turned this neglected bunkie into not only a usable space, but a place Guy and Suzanne will want to show off. <gasps> oh my God! Oh, oh, nice, eh? It's beautiful. Yeah, okay, we should move out of the cottage and move downstairs. <laughs> <Yeah>. I love it. <laughs> it's fantastic, way beyond anything that I expected. And it's so spacious. <laughs> I can't believe it's the same place. Oh, I never would have imagined. Oh, and you helped. Look what they've done in, in just that little bit of time. It's crazy. I'm practically speechless. <laughs> well, not really. There is a first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Dave, I... Well, what do you finally think of the bunk you've I been waiting for? I think he's never allowed to put anything in here. You are amazing. Oh, She's ecstatic. I mean, who wouldn't be excited? If you waited 15 years for something to get finished, wouldn't you be pumped to finally see that day come? I love the barrels. I got to tell you, these barrels was one of the first things I noticed. So I was like, we got to do something with these. How cool is the sitting area now? Yeah. They just look so right, like they belong there. To watch the guys custom make them before your eyes turn them into a couple of chairs and end tables, it, it was great. And you know what? With the view of the lake, I really felt like it, this deserved to be wide open, but it kind of needed to be separated with a sleeping area, yeah. a sitting area, and just an overall space that was actually open. And I wanted to keep a board and batten look. And I know you guys love pine, but I wanted to do something a little different. So it's got a whitewashed look, but you can still see the wood grain yes. and the knots. And Perfect. he's quite a painter. I didn't know, I don't know if you knew that. <gasps> You've been holding out on me all what? these what? years. I've got a high expectation <laughs> now. I have to think I'll come up with some other projects for you. I can't wait. <laughs> Kevin and Chantel like spending as much time as they can at their lake house. The trouble is, the basement reno has started, but never finished. After time, they just accepted the half-finished look, and slowly, furniture, TVs, beds, blanket walls, and even a dartboard found a home amongst the ruins. But after seven years, Chantel has had enough. She's not letting Kevin start any other projects until this one gets finished. So we're here to kick Kevin into gear. Ooh, so uh, this is the guest quarters. Yes, it is. Whose idea was this? I'm pretty sure it was mine. The walls never got done, so he said, get out, get out some sheets. We'll make walls with sheets. It's good, though, because we don't want our guests staying for longer than two days anyways, so they don't feel right. overly that comfortable down here. Yeah, and you've even, well, you've decorated it nicely. You got some photos <laughs> and some lamps and, oh, you, know. you know, some homey touches. And it's time to show Chantel. Oh, oh, my God. Even have words right now. This is am amazing. Oh my god. It's so perfect. I mean, you know, you leave, you see cement and, and insulation, you come back and it's these beautiful walls, beautiful floor, beautiful decoration. You're like, oh my god, am I in my cottage? Is this really where I live? Are these grandpas? Oh my god. It's just beyond words. Well, Chantel, what do you think? You finally got your basement back. Dave! Oh, my god! This is so beautiful. Well, you know what? When I first saw the space, wood upstairs, wood all around, I knew you guys loved the wood, but I knew you'd want to see some color. We put pine boards on the wall and bleached them out with a color. Oh, so yeah. you can see how you can see the, the knots and all the greens. And the white ceiling, tongue oh. and groove. Oh, my god. Brightens it up the space. 
first thing we did actually is put some insulated subfloor in, so the floor is actually insulated underneath. That's and now you've got a fireplace, so you should have no issues with heat down here oh at all. My God. But to do a fireplace, we needed something that looked really unique. Oh, it's beautiful. The wood, it's the stuff that Mark milled. Oh my God, like the, that's so the special. The cedar and the pine. We kept all the live edge stuff and the shelves are all actually trees with the, the bark tore off them. The wood, the wood is just amazing. Oh. To realize you can't start at noon and knock off a tree. This is what, how you kind of approach work at the cottage, right? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it now. It, it's not as daunting as it was uh, four days ago. Oh. Buddy, you know what? Kev's a great guy. He uh, He's pretty happy-go-lucky. He's always bouncing around. He's not shy to offer you a beer, so he gets a lot of brownie points for that. I think he's got potential to be a pretty decent carpenter in due time.